I thought since while I'm waiting for my piston to arrive, I'd make some gaskets. I'll just make these two first. So I've got the two which I took off the engine, a pen to mark them, the new gasket paper, and these hole punch punches which come in handy. Okay, firstly, I marked out this one here on this gasket paper there. This hole punch here isn't quite big enough for it, so I'll just have to make a few hits of it and eventually work it out. You always make the circles first when it's in the big pattern. You never sort of cut out the shape then make the circles. It's just easier that way, I find. So you can see, I ended up hitting it numerous times just to make that one hole. So now all those should just sort of push out, and I'll probably have to maybe hit them a few more times or just bend them back and forth, but they'll come out. I made the second hole using a different method. What I did is I got lots of, made lots of small holes with this one, and now that one just, that middle piece just came right out. It's a bit rough, but with a knife I'll just be able to trim those off. So there's the new one, and there's the old one. I'll keep the old one just, just as a template, or just in case I lose that. But that was pretty simple to make. So now I'm going to make this one. Um, what I'll probably do find a piece that it fits on, like that, punch all the holes, punch the corners of this big square piece, and then using this knife against like a straight edge, like a piece of wood or something, just cut along there, along there, so that won't take long. To make this next gasket, it's going to be a little bit more tricky, because it's broken, but I'll manage, I know which, how I'm going to do it, so what I'm going to do firstly, is measure the diameter of this big hole so then I can mark out a circle on the gasket paper and I know its diameter is 110 so I need to make a circle of radius 55 on the gasket paper okay the next step is to mark out where these holes are now what I'm going to do is go over to the engine and I'll measure their diagonals and from that I'll be able to make two lines across the centre of the circle in the gasket paper and mark out where they are. Okay, I know the diagonals of the square that will make this are 145 millimetres. So what I'll do is I'll put uh, what's half of 145? 50, 60, 70, 72.5 in the centre of the circle and then at the ends put a dot and then what I'll do is to make the other one perfectly square I'll use a tri-square like this and measure out 72.5 and 72.5 to get it perfect okay you can see now there's a cross there and on the dot there 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 and there will be these holes here so let's just test it out it should be pretty close to Ben right Pretty good. Not quite perfect. Oh, it's pretty good, yeah. I'm happy with that. Okay, I've marked, the f I've punched the four holes, so we'll see if it can fit on here. Okay, that, okay, that slips on really easily. So now I've just got to cut out this big centre hole. What I'm going to do to make the big circle is to, I put the cylinder in position, and with my knife, I'll just carefully go around carefully go around underneath it like like under there and that'll make it perfect size and perfect shape. Okay I've put the gasket on and it fits looks like a nice fit so now I'll just put the cylinder on. Not quite perfect. The cylinder just won't go on because it's overhanging just a little tiny bit but I should be able to just take that off pretty easily. Okay I've got it to sit down nicely now so I'll leave all this excess on, I won't trim that off yet, but that didn't take too long to make. I've taken the two spare motors off, off those two mowers there. I managed to salvage the wheels which I thought were in good condition. See that one's in. That, that stuff there's peeling off it, so I'm not going to worry about that. Um, I only managed to salvage five, three off this one, because the first one I took off, when I took this cover off, the little ball race with all the ball bearings in it broke. So there's ball bearings all through the grass. So I'm not going to bother about trying to find them, but 
just keep some wheels just in case I find one. Like this, if this was a good base I'd probably replace this wheel if I had a spare. So yeah, it's always good to keep things spare. I also kept the handle tightening mechanisms off the lawn mowers. Uh, that's one of them there, and there's the other ones there. So I kept those two and those two there. They just come in handy. Okay, I've got a new roll of gasket material, and this is the gasket I'll be making here. That fits around there. So since it's full, what I'll do is I'll just trace it straight out and copy it straight onto the, onto here. Then just use the punches and the knife to just cut it out. These are the remaining few gaskets. Um, just got to make that for the top rocker cover. That goes. That's like the inspection plate. Uh, don't know what you'd call these two, but it doesn't matter. And there's this one here. This one's going to be the hardest, so I'll make that last. But I'll mark around where it goes, so I don't accidentally cut into it, cut into it. But for these two, these two will be simple, just to simple. What I'll do, actually do is I'll sticky tape, tape them, sticky tape them down, and then I can just mark them a lot easier. Okay, I've stuck this out, this this one here down with masking tape. Just coming up a bit, but now I'll just trace around it. I took this piece off the rocker cover and all I assume it is is a crankcase breather sort of thing because it doesn't do anything but it's quite like a fancy design. The air from the rocker cover goes in there, then it comes out those two holes there, then it goes around and out there. So I don't know why it's so fancy, maybe it's to reduce noise but as I was taking this little cover off here, it slipped in the vise and I got myself a nice cut on my thumb. So, but that's all good. It's all part of the fun. Okay, I've cut out the rough shape for this gasket. So what I'm going to do is put it on. I'll sort of screw it in place, you'll see how. And then I can get the knife and go around it and get the perfect Okay, what I've done is I've made these little things here. This is the same method I used to make the gasket for my other diesel. And they sort of hold it against that. It can still move a little bit. And then what I do is get my knife over here. Put the blade out. Shouldn't be walking with the knife, but that's right. And slowly just cut around there. And it'll make, and it'll make the perfect circle for it. Okay, I've put the gasket back on. Uh, I've screwed this little part in here. It fits in its hole perfectly. Um, so that gasket's done. Of course, later I'll just trim off this and down here it got a bit torn when I screwed in the, that little piece of aluminium, but all my gaskets I'm going to seal up with gasket goo as well, just to make sure. I'm making the gasket for this side cover in exactly the same way as the others. What I've done is just cut out the four holes and then I'll just get the knife and go around the inside. Okay, that's done. It's not perfect. There's a bit of an overlap down here and up there, but there's nothing that sort of goes onto that. Like, it fits in there neatly, so I'm not too concerned about it. Just as long as it holds the oil 